What's up dudes, Chooch back with another video and today I'm out here ripping on the V11 and I'm still loving this wheel guys, it's absolutely a blast. The suspension on it is set up perfect. Whenever I'm switching over from going from on-road riding to off-road riding, I don't even do anything to the suspension on this wheel. I'm not really adjusting anything like that. Um, it's pretty much perfect. So it, my on-road riding and off-road riding uh, setup is, is, is really no different on this wheel. Um, one thing cool about the King Song S18 that I find myself doing um, a lot more now is if I'm on a, a nice stretch of road where I'm talking where it is fresh paved stretch of road or fresh it's sidewalk where there's no bumps at all, like not even any of those expansion like cracks in the, the sidewalk. What I'll end up doing on the King Song S18 is just going ahead and locking out the suspension on it. And honestly, I, I just love the way the thing rides whenever it's just locked out suspension and you're, um, and, I, and I feel like I can really, I don't know, something about it just feels nicer on, um, on really paved, uh, on stuff like that because it feels more like a M super like what I'm used to you know uh, granted if the road has any bumps in it if it's a variable road where there's potholes or there's anything like that of course I'll keep the suspension open on it but that's one thing about the s18 that I find myself doing but on the on the in motion v11 it's just I mean it's perfect on on road off road um, I'm not really having to change much around or do anything like that and same, same with the S18, same with the suspension I have. So the suspension setup I have on that wheel. So if you were kind of worried about having to, to f fiddle with it and maybe switch back and forth and carry your pump with you um, if you want, wanted to do on-road and off-road riding, uh, I think you get used to the way the thing feels and you're not going to want to be switching it around. I think once you get used to the way it feels and the dynamics of it, uh, I think you're going to just, you, you, you will like the way it is and you're not going to want to go changing it because the more you go changing it, um, you know, it's just going to be something you have to get used to every time. Granted, a, a little bit more air on road, yeah, it's going to help and yeah, it, it, it'll be nice, but I think just going through the extra process of carrying the pump, doing that, and then your brain having to get used to the, having more air in it, I don't think it's really worth it. I think you need to find one one setting that you, you, you're comfortable with and that you're wanting to roll with for a long period of time on these suspension wheels. I think once you get used to it, then that's everything, you know, and that, that's, that's key to these wheels. It's getting used to it, you know. Um, like I, I just got my new M Super Pro and like that wheel, it's just a whole nother beast getting used to that wheel because it is, it is, I, I rode the uh, demo M Super Pro a while back and I did all the videos on that stuff, but getting it again and just going from these wheels to that wheel, it's just a lot heavier and no suspension on it. And I busted my, I'm talking dude, if I didn't have on those new Liat <laughs> knee pads, like these are my old knee pads that I'm riding in the video right here. I got those new white Liat knee pads the other day. Uh, I'll link them down in the description. And dude, if I was not wearing these things the other day, I would have, I would have needed a total knee replacement. I'm not kidding you. Like it was, it was bad. And it was just because I'm coming from these uh, suspension wheels. And I'm telling you guys, it is a luxury. Like these suspension wheels are forgiving, man. Like if you don't have the right posture setting or whatever, you don't have your knees bent and you hit a pothole or something or you accelerate to what what will really get you guys and what what will snag even the best riders on these things is accelerating hard and having your weight forward and then hitting an unexpected bump and i'm telling you that'll drop the most seasoned riders on these things like flies and this is exactly what i did on my m super pro i um basically was going across a road um it was a uh, kind of a busy road and on the other side it was a curb on the other side you know so I literally had to get across the road quick and then hop up the curb and I'm so used to doing it on the in motion v11 and on the s18 man like all you have to do is preload and then just kind of jump and you're over like over any type of curb on the road like those little curbs are nothing for these suspension wheels and since that was a new my M, M super pro is a new wheel 1800 watt hours is heavy guys i'm talking that is as heavy as you want to get inside of a uh, shell like an m super style shell and i didn't have any power pads on it fresh out of the box that's why i'm telling you guys you have to make pads for your wheels so you do like you have to spend time with it fiddle with it it will save you in the long run like i 
I'm beating myself up for not doing that right now. I had pads on it. I had pads on the outside of the wheel, but I didn't have like any power pads or I didn't have any uh, like uh, toe pads or anything like that. And what happened is I went to basically jump up the um, curb and I just didn't didn't have a good grip on the wheel. That thing is way heavier than these. No suspension and had no contact points. And I went to go jump up and there was nothing there. And my tire pressure was too high and basically what happened was um, the wheel flew in the air so it literally it hit the sidewalk so hard it had a high tire pressure and it just flew out from under me over my head while I went skidding on my knee pads and I was man dude I looked like a wide receiver going for the Super Bowl winning pass man like I literally came in and sliding on the knee pads i know it sounds crazy i caught the m super pro like cradled it in my arms like it's my new wheel you know i didn't want it to go down so i literally looked over my shoulder i'm sliding literally towards a basketball court while these people are playing a pickup game and i this wheel is coming over my shoulder and i cradle it like a baby catch it in my arms and and i just was like man i literally was beating myself up i was like you got it you got to treat the non-suspension wheels so much different than the suspension wheels. I'm telling you, these are luxury, and this is the way they're going for sure. Um, I mean, I tell you what, I, I love speed, I love torque, you know. That M Super Pro will take off like a bat out of hell, but it needs suspension. It does need suspension. So one thing that is undeniable, though, about the Gotways is just the power behind it. And same thing with the Sherman, guys, the power, the acceleration. You, the thing is, if you get on one of those wheels and you ride it every day, so that is the, the main platform I have all of my miles on is on the M Super platform. The M Super V3S is probably the, the wheel I have the most miles on. Um, I have the, the MSX board in that wheel now, and I have the MSX motor in that wheel. So it's basically an 84 volt MSX, but it has uh, 1300 watt hours in it. And I love that wheel for short commutes, busting around town. It's perfect. It's great. It's just fast enough. It's um, it's lightweight. And granted, I've beat that wheel up so bad, you know. But if like it's it's just perfect. That's why I love that that Frankenstein M Super V3S that I have so much is because it is just enough power for me, and it is lightweight enough. And the thing is, on my short commutes around town every day, why? Would I need an 1800 watt hour battery for a four mile commute every day? You know, there, there's just, you're literally just taking a bunch of extra weight with you. You're losing a ton of um, agility and stuff like that. So the, what you need to do, this is why I, I advocate for, every, once you get into this hobby, you need multiple wheels for different things. So your everyday wheel that you just wanna go out and about on and go cruise on, the InMotion V11 is absolutely, I'm talking like, it is the perfect wheel. This is the perfect everyday commuter, urban commuter wheel. Um, granted, it, anything heavier than, the, than this wheel, you don't want to commute on it every day. You don't want to get the Veteran Sherman to commute every day. You don't want to get a Monster to commute on every day. And even going up to like an M Super Pro, um, granted, you'll get there fast. You will get there fast, no questions asked. You have a ton of torque to do it love that wheel but it is heavy so for your short commutes around town or whatever it might not be the best option you know like in motion v11 or king song s18 may be absolutely perfect for you you know um most days i'm not kidding you guys most days and most of my rides i'm not ever going to the full limit of these things you know you people are have busy lives people have stuff going on school work whatever and if you can get out on a weekend and go for a ride up a mountain or you can go for an adventure you know that's what it's all about but your typical everyday commute your everyday cruise is what you have to think about i think a lot of this boils down to your everyday ease of use and the s18 and the v11 are user-friendly vehicles for commuting and getting in and out of an office building, in and out of classrooms, whatever it may be. Uh, the trolley handles look, I mean, they work very well. These things look super prof professional, you know, they look slick, man. Both both the S18 and the V11, um, I, I think if you show up to work on this, you know, um, pushing this in in a business suit or something like that, 
I think the only looks you're gonna get from people is people that are jealous as hell and think that it's cool. Um, it's gonna, it's completely different than the guy that's coming in with one of the electric scooters, you know, in a business suit or something like that. You know, this is like, look, this is like, this is what you choose to do. You know, you could have a Lamborghini and a damn private jet and still love one of these and ride it around and have an absolute blast on it, you know? And I think that's the key to it, is once you get one of these things, you may get it thinking, okay, I'm gonna get something just to get to work. Um, you know, save, save a little bit of money on gas, you know, not have to crank up the car every time I wanna go four miles or two miles down the road or pick up a coffee or go, you know, go to the, run to the store, run to work, whatever it is. And then I think people get them and it takes about, probably about two weeks for them to realize that this is, this is beyond commuting. This is a lifestyle and it is so much fun. And your truck or car is going to sit once you get one of these things. The link below guys takes you straight to eWheels. It is an affiliate link. It helps the channel. You can pre-order the V11, the Veteran Sherman, the S18, and get all of the latest wheels there. M Super Pros, all that stuff. Link below guys, I appreciate it. I'll see y'all in the next one.